Once you make it in the neighbors want to know why you won't shake it just like a liver. Each morning I wake up with so the sun. In the beginning of quarantine, I started of 2020 in April. I planted my first tomato plant and I fell in love with it. Every day I would work out right next to it with my radio and I would trim um, her hair, I call it, which is basically, um, you know, you have to like take care of your plant. And so anytime it's getting dry, you kind of trim them as um, they grow and they become more alive and just very nourishing with the sun and the water and with your TLC. And I'm really sad today because it's officially been maybe like almost a year with it from April to February <laughs> and um, it's kind of sad because I'm really attached to this tomato like tomatoes are like my favorite and I just like I really appreciate it because um, I don't think it was supposed to last this long but it did I think God um, helped me to have a green um, so that was really cool and so today I'm kind of sad because I'm taking her out today um, I'm gonna take her out, put her in a trash bag, and say my thank yous and toss her in the trash. But um, when I take it out, though, I'm not just going to take it out from the roof. I'm actually going to take like half of the dirt out because I feel like it's going bad. So I don't want any bad energy when I replant something else because that's my goal is to replant something else. Um, so I'm super excited to do this. Um, but at the same time, it's like super sad and emotional. But um, yeah, I encourage you guys to plant something and really give it nourishment. Don't just plant it and put water. Like you really have to like. At times, you have to uh, walk by it, talk by it, and then cut. Very important to cut the hair or the leaves off of it because if you do not, um, it's harder for it to grow to its full potential, giving you nourishment, whatever. You know, if it's having flowers or if it's having fruit, so definitely recommend that. So.